Hi, I'm Councillor for listening to this uh, new series of uh, video on uh, Python learning. Uh, so in this tutorial, we just introduce you what you uh, need to know if you want to learn uh, Python. So Python is a very uh, powerful uh, software that has been developed uh, long time ago so um, it's very important in order to run uh, many uh, algorithm as, as well as uh, data science and uh, statistical analysis so um, this tool will just uh, give you the basis uh, like uh, writing a first code and uh, using a predefined function that is uh, in uh, Python and we will show you how to uh, install, how to have uh, Python in your computer. So uh, to start you need to just uh, know that uh, Python is a free uh, uh, software so that uh, you can just go on python.org download and uh, choose for the uh, version which uh, correspond to your computer for example i have windows you can uh, maybe have linux or uh, mac or other uh, other system so you can just uh, download for free the version of python that uh, correspond to your your computer so um, if i choose for example a uh, window uh, version the version you can uh, select the version which correspond to the characteristics of your your computer so uh, that's it so uh, to start uh, writing code in Python, you need to uh, have what we call a IDE, Integrated Development Environment. So IED, uh, there are many uh, IED that you can use to write your codes when you are, uh, uh, you are using Python. Uh, so uh, one of uh, the um, IDE that I can recommend to you is uh, PyCharm. PyCharm. So PyCharm is uh, very interesting uh, IDE that you can use in order to develop uh, your uh, Python course. It just go on uh, PyCharm uh, jetbrain.com slash uh, PyCharm and uh, download uh, version of uh, by uh, of passion that is uh, free or if you want to uh, be a professional so we will just focus on the free version of passion or now just uh, go to the site and download passion so uh, when you have installed first of all Python and uh, second of all uh, your passion uh, integrated development environment you can you are now able to uh, run uh, coding in Python so it's the installation process is very simple so when you have installed uh, your uh, Python and PyCharm you can just go on your uh, PyCharm icon and double click to have this uh, this screen, what you see, you can see uh, on your screen, this interface. So, uh, in the installation process, we have to uh, will uh, be required to create a uh, a project execution file. So, uh, my I will call uh, my project. So, to start writing your first code, you just need to. Uh, make a right click on your uh, of my project file here in the right uh, in the left hand side of your uh, interface 
to make a right click on uh, new and choose uh, Python 5. So click on Python 5 and you will be required to uh, give a name to your Python 5. I will call it my uh, my first Python my first Python. So I click on enter and you are uh, is uh, now created and you can just uh, get to write your first uh, your first python code so uh, the first thing i would like to uh, show you is uh, for example how to uh, tell uh, to python to, uh, to, to to print for example a message that you you, you want it to print so uh, Type, for example, the command uh, main, the command main, and uh, so you enter main in your screen. Just with that, uh, you have uh, some proposition. You, uh, uh, I, I click on this to have to define some condition in which I will uh, uh, define. Could you have if uh, name equal main, uh, so uh, you will print uh, the value. Uh, I will put quotation mark to say uh, to say that what I'm going, uh, what is going to be printed is uh, a, a, a string the character uh, uh, that will going to be printed is a string. I will. Uh, uh, print in my uh, I will print uh, I am a good I am a good citizen I am a good citizen so uh, to execute my uh, code I, uh, I just click on a green button here and select the option run my first python so i click on ok and you will see that uh, in uh, the uh, command uh, i am a good uh, expression uh, phrases i am a good uh, citizen has been printed here so uh, you can also uh, uh, define a function we call uh, we'll, I will call main so the procedure to define a function is to use the command def uh, followed by uh, the space as the name of the function main so my first function will be called uh, main so I will use the predefined function print as previously to uh, uh, to write the instruction that my fun my function will, uh, will return. So I will write, for example, print. Uh, I am a good citizen. I am a good citizen. A good citizen. citizen. So uh, I will also print, for example, uh, it will print a, a number uh, 10, for example. Well, I'll, in this case, I'll draw, I, I, I didn't. Uh, uh, I, I will. I should have put a quotation mark here to say that uh, the expression that is going to be printed is uh, a string. So for this time, I will print uh, the, the the character, the number ten, 
and in this case I will not uh, use quotation mark meaning that I will uh, the character that we do bring is a figure this is the number so uh, secondly I will call my function uh, call main uh, in this uh, command uh, using uh, So just say if uh, name equal uh, main as the name of my function, we'll uh, call uh, also uh, or I uh, will call uh, main. Just call the function main. So I'll, for now, I'll just execute uh, my condition uh, as I have defined my uh, function call main here. Uh, I will execute my command which call my function main and you will see that uh, my uh, two uh, command will be printed uh, not only I am a good citizen but also the figure uh, 10, 10 so I will go on the uh, green bottom and run my first Python see that uh, So that's a, a mistake, a syntax, a syntax uh, mistake. So I, I should have put uh, the point, two point here in my function so that I will re-execute my... Uh, so you see that I am a good citizen has been printed and the figure 10 has been uh, printed. So I can also... Uh, uh, print uh, uh, I am in very good condition conditions very good conditions I can also add a uh, print uh, the number the year uh, 2020. So uh, I will just execute my uh, my instruction, and you will see that all these four uh, lines will be printed. So I click on run first. You can see that uh, all the four instruction instruction that has that has been given has been printed. I am a good citizen. Then I am in very good conditions, and 2020 has been printed here. So uh, this tutorial is ju was just to show you how to uh, start programming using Python. In the very uh, coming tutorial, we show you, for example, how to uh, uh, make a good function, a function using variable, uh, using uh, affectation, and more uh, lately we will show you how to uh, use uh, Python in order to analyze data and uh, so on. So that's it for this uh, tutorial and we'll see you uh, very soon in the new oral tutorial.